Okay, see, I'm recording. So I'll put this over here. And so this is a Union Pacific Big Boy made by Mark Stafford. This is Mark. Hey, Mark. Hello. How are you? I'm good. So what's the inspiration for this? Uh, the, the start of it was the driver wheels, uh, the geometry, the radius or circumference of it. Uh, was off based off a previous model I had of the Western Hotel in Atlanta. I remember uh, that mock. <laughs> the the same, uh, I think it's 30 studs across, uh, and I had it as a, a spoke wheel, sat on the shelf for a while, let it kind of the ideas percolate, and then the uh, the box pock design actually came to fruition. Let's go closer here. So we're talking about the driver wheels here. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah. all brick built. Uh, it actually uses the, oh, neat. <laughs> that hides a lot of the brick yeah. staggering that's that's behind it. Yeah. So he's been showing me some of this stuff, and we didn't break too much yet. Um, <laughs> so I, I saw a picture of this when we were getting ready for Atlanta BrickCon, and okay. it didn't do justice to the size and the scale. So what you say? What scale is this? It is one seventh. One seventh. Uh, one size of the real uh, engine. Yeah. Uh, and this engine, the Lego version here, is 19 feet long. It's sitting on 19 22, feet. <laughs> 22 feet of track. How wide is the... It is a 60, 60 stud wide train. Okay. So 10 times bigger than Lego's oh, yeah. scaling. <laughs> <laughs> Ten times. Six wide, eight wide, and 60 so wide. One of the things you were telling me earlier about the rivets and like the details, like with, uh oh, with the, <laughs> with the, the tender here and... Yeah, did you try to make that to the prototype? Yes. Uh, I tried counting the rivets because there <laughs> are people that count rivets. Um, but the, re the reason I did the rivets is just looking at a tender, it's going to be very flush, very flat, very uneventful. So I, whatever I could do to add some interest Yeah, having those design, studs really adds to it. And then the, even the, the, the Union Pacific brick built there. So the, the line here is actually the differentiation between the coal oh. section and the water side. Yeah, so um, he, he made this coal. It's, if any of you rivet counters are looking, he made this based on the coal, not on the... The, the restored, the restored yeah. Uh, oil burning yeah. model that that's that, currently running. Yeah. Oh, one of my favorite things, look over here, is the, the coupler. <laughs> so they, they will actually couple, and then there's the decoupling on the that side. That is so amazing. The person in there to the couple. Yeah. It'll stand on the side. Is, the front works the same way too. That is awesome. It's got a radiator on the front. Uh, what are some other. Did we miss? The water hatches open and close. Oh, yeah. There's no. Uh, there's not any actual water in there. <laughs> the toolboxes. Nice. Most of them open and close. The windows slide all the way open and fully retracts. That is amazing. A little air vent on the top. Yeah, and you were telling me something you wanted to do with the wheels in the future, possibly. Uh, they are already elevated. And set to, uh, to have motion. There's motors on the inside. It's just not working right now. Right. But uh, it's on the list. It's awesome. The list is growing. I think there's little steps to get up to the sand dome. <laughs> uh, so he, he, he uh, Mark knows the actual t technical terms for everything. To me, it's always like the thingy right there or this thing. But I, I, I was staring at this and he's like, this radiator. <laughs> yeah, well, it, there was a lot of, a huge learning curve on my end too. Uh, yes. And also this. Oh yeah, the also, other front also works. But yeah, this this is one that does not open, but it's, okay. it's all the everything implied to. What's the front open. called? Is it is is it a cow catcher? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard people debate that <laughs> if it's actually a cow catcher. <laughs> yes, not a mutilator or whatever the yeah. terms there might be. How long did it take you to set it up at the show? Set it up? Uh, well, I started last night. I just had the, the tables leveled everything. It's on a uh, three sections of two by four framing, uh, all under the, yeah. the fabric, and then the yeah. track on top. 
It's about what I got set up last night, making sure everything was level. Uh, and then this morning, uh, it was probably four to five hours to set up. Wow. The Lego. This, the Lego on top. Actually, not too bad. No. It was less... In... I, I have set it up, up and down a few times at home. Uh, it did go on a, a dry run in the trailer just to see what's going to break, what's not going to break. So you took it apart, put it in a trailer, mm -hmm. drove it around, and then tried to put it back together? Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't want it to be the first show <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. to have to yeah. learn what's going to happen. I think anybody that's right taken around. a large mock to a convention knows the, the sadness. The peril, <laughs> yes. It can come. So, yeah, it's just interesting. One of my earliest videos I ever made was of your stuff at Brick Fair, Alabama, and, yes. and uh, I think it was another train show, but uh, I remember that West End Hotel. Yep. Yeah, there, there's a, um, Atlanta BrickCon's got a little architecture series with the Atlanta Skyline. They didn't have the uh, West End. <laughs> <laughs> I, I no longer have the West End either. I needed oh. the, all the hinges. Though. You used it to build this? So it's still here. Well, hinges of it, yes. Yeah, the, all the trans brick. That yeah, that's somewhere else. Oh, yeah. the tornado took those. It's oh. from the real one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You had that. Um, that happened to you. The tor talking about. Oh, no, no, no. The, the, the actual hotel. Oh, you're talking about the it real hotel. The yeah, the, the windows blew out of the real hotel. And so they replaced all of them with the new color. Uh, I don't know if they replaced all of them. That, that was since I moved. Yeah. Um, but I knew each window was like its own particular dimension, so yeah. it st stood boarded up for quite a while. There was, I don't know, yeah. 20, 30, 40 some odd windows, very speckled looking. So this, is, this video is telling us how the Union Pacific Big Boy compares to the West End Hotel in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Much bigger. Yeah, and this is better. This is, this is I'm really, I'm very proud of you, Mark. Thank you very much. Thank I, you. I hope you win an award for this. I'm not in it for the awards, but it would be. It would be are, are you eligible for one? Oh, it's it's the first showing. This uh -huh. is the first show, so okay. I guess. Uh, it hasn't won anything yet. Well, you you get an award in my book. Thank you very and much. And thank you for letting me talk to you about this. I don't you normally talk to people. I usually just sneak and take pictures of it. So. I think you're actually the first interview I've ever done, like something wow. like this. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Proud of you too. I really, again, want to thank Mark for allowing me to interview him with this. There's so many details that we've missed. Probably he even showed me some things after I filmed the video. <laughs> it's just a really amazing model, and uh, some of the questions I asked him about what parts were hard to get in quantity. Uh, fortunately, the grays and the, the black, there's a lot of variety, but there's other uh, little interesting elements and features, so many things that uh, I've, that we didn't even talk about. And he has plans of even adding details, such as the moving wheels, having steam come out of the top, which would be really amazing, uh, and having perhaps a, a car of some sort, like a caboose, to attach to the couplers. Uh, but he's just so relieved to get it there in one piece. Uh, um, well, he had to assemble it, but uh, didn't have any disasters in getting it here from Florida. And like I said, if we go back and look at some of my old videos from a really, 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 really long time ago, <laughs> there's some uh, videos of uh, the greater Florida lug stuff at different shows, whether it's been... Brick Fair, Alabama. I think there might have been one from a train show in Georgia. I can't, I, I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, uh, thanks again so much to Mark Staffa. He did an incredible job with this. He's been working on it for six years and it's just, it's just amazing. And I'm glad you watched the video and be sure to like it and uh, tell Mark in the comments how awesome his creation is. And uh, I think one of his dreams was to to get a, a picture of it or take it where the actual big boy that's still the refurbished one that doesn't burn coal. <laughs> uh, that They've been running the excursions. They do about once a year or so out there, out west usually. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, I'll be back again with another video real soon.
did have to order a bunch, but they weren't horrible, but uh, all relative. Yeah. I have no stickers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh, you got it? Oh! It, it's oddly satisfying. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Hold the hand.